Welcome to the Grace Point Publishing Podcast. Today, we continue our first chapter segment where our authors narrate a section of their book for you. In this episode, Karen Curry Parker shares a section from her best selling book, The Quantum Human Understanding the Evolution of Consciousness, the Solar Plexus Mutation, and Human Design. Please see the show notes for information on how to buy Karen's book and connect further with her work. And now, here's your narrator, Karen Curry Parker. A note for you. This book is for all of you who know what you know, but don't always know how you know. It's for those of you who have struggled to find the words to explain to others who doubt what you know as truth in your heart. This information is for all of you who were told that your knowing wasn't enough. It is for those of you who listened to the words of others and doubted yourself instead of questioning their need to make you prove your own knowingness. This book is for those of you who, over the course of your life and your education, mistakenly bought into the belief that you are not enough, not brilliant, not creative, not powerful not successful, not lovable, not worthy, not wise, or any other story that you were told that caused you to believe that you are less than the breathtakingly awesome once-in-a-lifetime cosmic event that you are. This book is for you because when you reclaim the truth of who you are, you not only create a life that is worthy of you, You also take your place in service to the world by being who you truly are. Our true nature is to be creative. We are all, each and every one of us, powerful creative beings who use our perceptions to create our collective and individual experience of reality. Our collective consciousness is evolving. Evolution in consciousness is not only showing up as new scientific understandings about how the world works, it is literally manifesting as physical changes in the way in which our brains and bodies work. The rate at which we are evolving is reaching a pace at which the old systems we created with material consciousness are no longer working for the majority of people. Our current education systems perpetuate an outdated way of thinking that causes children to feel that they are broken stupid, disruptive, non-creative, or somehow less than. Our healthcare system treats people based on their material value and with limited models that do not take into account non-locality and fully integrative aspects of wellness and perception as part of the healing process. Our economy is driven by materialism, inequality, and excludes people from participating fully. In an evolving world where the concept of value is changing dramatically, the old economy is no longer sustainable. Even the way in which we organize our communities and our government is in need of a serious overhaul as we begin to realize that affecting real, sustainable, peaceful change on the planet will require us to first and foremost change our perception about what we believe is possible to experience on planet Earth. We would not be realistic if we didn't take stock of our current perceptions of the world and examine what these perceptions are creating. We live in a world where there is mounting scientific evidence that we are facing a global crisis, a crisis rooted in a consciousness and a perception of lack. We are deeply conditioned by old material consciousness, which is based on a model of finite resources, zero-sum game thinking, and by nature, competition. We are afraid that we lack the resources, food, water, money, systems of allocation and management, education, opportunity, or knowledge to make the changes necessary to surmount the global challenges facing us today. Our collective perceptions of lack are created from our own individual stories of personal lack. Each and every one of us who is, in some way, living the story of not enough and creating the manifestation, the collapse of the quantum potential of lack, is adding to the experience of lack on the planet. The perception of lack creates less than enough, accompanied by naysaying, doubt, and the denial of unrealistic possibilities. When we think we are not enough, don't have enough, 
aren't worthy of more and play in a limited zero-sum game, then that is what we inevitably create in the world. When we come from a place of lack, the dreamers who bring us the fantastical ideas such as going to the moon are shut down, laughed at, and denied the opportunity to assist with the evolution of humanity. The dreamers, the creatives, the leaders on the edge of consciousness know, sometimes without knowing exactly how they know, but they do, that they have the answers to saving the world, the answers to creating a world of sustainable peace and sustainable resources. When we shut down the dreamers, we shut down the possibility of what else is possible for the planet. Right now, on this planet, there are people who carry the seeds of inspiration, the root ideas for creating the next phase of humanity on the planet. In our midst are people who have the next new idea that can change the definition of what's possible for humanity, much like space travel changed our idea of who we are and what we can achieve. For us to be ready to serve as sacred stewards for these ideas, to plant them, tend to them, and ultimately collapse the quantum potentials that will make them manifest in the world, we have to remember our natural creative power and unlock the full potential of our human creative genius. In this book, you're going to learn about the mechanics of the evolution of humanity through the lens of quantum human design, a system that teaches you how to fulfill your life and soul purpose using a blend of several ancient esoteric systems, including the Chinese I Ching, the Hindu chakra system, Judaic Kabbalah, and astrology. The information shared in this book is based on the basic information first revealed by Ra Ubruhu, the founder of traditional human design. It offers, however, an alternative perspective on the evolution of the world and shares a message of hope and empowerment. As a student of Ra, I am grateful for Ra and his understandings of the mechanics of the shift on this planet. His work and his life are a testament to his courage and his willingness to transmit a body of information that has the potential to transform the way we love and nurture each other in a rapidly changing world. Your quantum human design is calculated using your birthday, time and place, and just like with astrology, the system is based on a chart that is generated by a computer. If you need to calculate your chart or the chart of a loved one, please visit www.freehumandesignchart.com. But you are not your quantum human design chart. Your chart is not the definition of who you are. This chart is simply a map of your soul curriculum, what you came here to experience, do, and be on this planet at this vital time. You are an infinite powerful creator living in a human story. All the other details of your story, your religion, your race, your gender, your Enneagram, your astrology chart, your numerological profile, your political party affiliation, your nationality, your job title, define aspects of your story, but they do not tell the full story of who you truly are. I'll say it again because it's so important. You are an infinite, powerful creator living in a human story. I'm going to add one more thing. Before I started writing this book, I set the intention for this note to reach all of us who may have gotten swept up and confused by the centuries of hidden pain that we are all healing on the planet right now and see this nugget of a reminder. Here's what I gently remind you. If you're listening to this book, your soul was called to this planet to do one thing, and that thing is the most important thing you can do. Fulfill your life purpose. Your life purpose isn't your work or what you do. Your life purpose is to be the fulfilled expression of who you came here to be in this lifetime. You are your life purpose. For a lot of us, when we read these words, it might inspire a certain amount of panic. Many of us know that we're here for a reason, but we might not remember what that reason is. You came here to heal centuries of hidden pain so that the echoes of this pain can be permanently wiped off the planet. You came here to free yourself from the bondage of a consciousness of lack, 
so that you could turn around and do the same for others so that we can learn to create from a place of infinite power, so we can live from abundance, not scarcity, so we can create a world of equitable, sustainable peace, because a world of equitable, sustainable peace is the fulfillment of the human potential. That's your mission. For some of you, that might mean spending a lifetime of clearing trauma from your cells and the cells of others. For others, it might mean to stop making excuses, albeit clever ones, that are keeping you from fulfilling your purpose. It is time for you to share your message. Write that book. Create that program. Do your life's work and stop hiding out. You are absolutely worthy of serving the divine mission of transforming, aligning, and healing this world by being who you are. This book is designed to be a guide for you to activate your own remembering of the mission of evolution and the natural creative power that you were born with. When you fully embody your natural creative power and you clear the generations of conditioning and ancestral pain your cells are carrying, you will be fulfilling your ultimate purpose to use your creative power to create an equitable, sustainable world of peace. And to do that, You have to do one critical thing. Bring yourself back into alignment with living true to who you really are. You are a -a once-in-a-lifetime cosmic event. You are an intentional soul living a temporary life story with a purpose. Over the course of your life, you've experienced joys, traumas, pain, and love. You've been conditioned by the mindsets, beliefs, and energies from the people who have played a major role in your life. You're also carrying within yourselves the energy of ancestral memories that are stored in your DNA. The emerging science of epigenetics has shown us that many of our reactions, anxieties, fears, and even our tendency to express certain gene regulators are actually influenced by events that happened in our family lineage up to 14 generations before you were born. In other words, Things that have happened in your ancestral lineage are influencing the DNA your family is carrying. This genetic influence is inherited, and we all carry genetic memory of things that happened on the planet before we even got here. Your life experiences and your genetic programming and more can often entrain or condition you away from being the person you were born to be. Your conditioning influences your perception and consequently, which quantum potentials you make manifest in your life. To activate your mission on the planet at this time, you have to decondition yourself. You have to create a new set of meanings and perspectives that are empowering. You have to reprogram your DNA. You have to fully activate the power of your soul, expressing its true creative capacity so that your human story can fulfill its full purpose to heal the world. When you do this, your capacity to intentionally harness your natural creative power increases exponentially. Thank you for joining us on this episode of the Grace Point Publishing Authors Podcast. We can't wait to talk more next time as we introduce you to another one of our amazing authors. Make sure you hit subscribe on your favorite podcasting platform so you never miss a single episode of the Grace Point Publishing Authors Podcast. To find out more about our authors and to see how we can help you publish your book, head to gracepointpublishing.com. Keep writing. Keep creating. Your words matter.